Here we have an ATI Radeon based HGP graphic card. A friend brought it over to me and one day all the capacitors just blew up. You can see here are six of them and every single one of them has belched open, raptured from the top. Uh, you can see here one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth one is actually open from the bottom. And uh, obviously the graphic card no longer works, so I have to replace these capacitors. Two of them are 6.3 volt, 1500 microfarad, which are these two, and the rest four are 6.3 volt, 1000 microfarad. I don't have exact value to replace them, so I will use higher voltage of equivalent capacitance. So I'm going to replace the 6.3 volt with 16 volt, 1000 microfarad. And for these 1500 microfarad, 6.3 volt, I'm going to use 1800 microfarad, 6.3 volt. And generally, you can always increase the voltage when you're replacing capacitor, but never decrease it. So here we go. So what I'm trying to do is to heat up each individual leg of the capacitor attached to the solder enough to pull it out directly. Uh, it's not the professional method, but with this type of lid-free soldering, it's usually more difficult to remove it from the solder. So it's easier to just heat it enough so you can pull out the capacitor like this and then use some kind of soldering wick like this one to suck up the old solder and once you can suck up the old solder you can apply you can have enough space to insert a new capacitor just be careful Make sure you have enough flux to suck up the old solder and don't yank it. If you get stuck, just heat it and let it come off by itself. If you yank it, there is a possibility you might detach something nearby or on the connector itself. So always Try to work gently. Always pay attention when you are inserting the capacitor because you have the polarity. The white part represents the negative. So you need to match it with the side that's striped. If you reverse the polarity, the capacitor, may blow up again. As you can see here, the new capacitor I placed is a 16 volt 1000 microfarad and the old capacitor is a 6.3 volt 1000 microfarad. Again, you can always substitute a lower value with higher value capacitor, especially when it comes to voltage. Now, this is in place. On the other side, I need to apply some flux. If the solder doesn't already have flux, and to ensure that the solder attaches properly to the metal pad. And here I apply the flux. Take some solder and apply it to the tip or directly as you like. Um, just make sure you don't apply too much of it. Just give it enough to let it attach. Okay, and the other one, okay, and this will sit there nice and tight and inspect it to make sure that it sits nicely onto the surface. So there you can see, let's see if you can see this, these two are soldered well enough 
and just repeat it for the other capacitors as well. Now you can see the six replaced capacitors. They are a lot bigger than the original ones, but at least they will be able to restore the functionality of the graphic card. So 